Which one would you choose? Which one do you think is better quality? Is it worth it to get into another Star Wars toy line? Check out today's video. Yo everybody, it is superstar artist Rocco the Great, creator of Goose Faba, coming to you with another toy review. And in today's toy review, not only are we gonna be doing a full review, we are gonna be comparing these to the other toy line, Star Wars Black Series. Is it worth it? Should you buy a whole nother Star Wars line in another scale? We're gonna get to the bottom of it in today's video. Stay tuned. Here we go, this is the box. Now, it says exclusively at Disney, but I don't believe the Disney store is a thing anymore. So I think maybe you could get these at other places. Definitely you could get them online and probably Disney store online. But listen, I don't have to tell you guys how to find things. <laughs> we got the backs right here, Diamond Select Toys, Star Wars, Lucasfilm. I'm very excited for these. Again, original trilogy is always where you're going to get me. And uh, some of the prequels, I like the Phantom Menace. All right, let's start off with Chewie. Now, Chewie does not come with as much stuff as the Stormtrooper, but he still looks pretty good. I have to say, off the bat, definitely more detailed than the Star Wars Black Series, but we'll save those for comparison times. Uh, no ab crunch, so that might be a deal breaker for some of you guys, no ab crunch. The arms, uh, you get a, a pretty, Decent range of motion, a little bit less than 90. Um, but they do turn like that. Again, very detailed. So it looks like the sculpt is being favored here more than, you know, uh, you know, anything else. Articulation. Now the articulation down here, um, this is interesting. Hold on a second. It looks like there's articulation on the bottom. Okay, so there is some movement down on the bottom, and that goes up. Let's see. Usually you're supposed to heat up these, like NECA toys, McFarlane and Diamond Select, I always heat them up. There you go. You get 90 degrees there. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's see, the feet, you're you're just gonna get up and down movement? Does Do they pivot? I don't know, the sculpt, it's very sculpt heavy, so I can't even see if I, it looks like, yeah, it does look like there's some pivot down there. So something cool I noticed is, all you have to do is buy one of these if you want new trilogy or old trilogy Chewbacca. So old trilogy, you're gonna get, it's got his bandolier, bowcaster, right there, original trilogy, right? Perfect. Again, look at that face. I just wanna say, like, look how detailed the face is. That's really nice. That's actually pretty detailed, and you'll see, wait till we see the Black Series, and then you'll be like, oh, okay, I get what he's talking about. So you can do that one, or you could do Force Awakens, which, you know, I am just not a fan of the Disney movies. I'm sorry, guys, if you are, but it has the bandolier with the, or is this from Solo? Is this from Solo? Because I, or maybe Force Awakens and Solo. I know he had, it goes over him, like, the double bandolier ba backpack thing, but I don't even... I don't mess around with that uh, Disney stuff. Sorry, guys, if you do. It's okay. I just, you know, personally, not my preference. So let me put this bandolier back on him. Now, this one I am super impressed with. Now, the Chewbacca was pretty limited in articulation, but this guy definitely, first of all, he feels like the, he's a different plastic. Uh, uh, it's a lighter plastic that's not the Chewbacca in my like that I feel like it's not that same as the Chewbacca and This you get a lot more articulation. So you have the thigh cuts right here You could do a split they go up and back single jointed knees Pivot on the foot pivot on the foot with the ankle the elbows don't go up too high Which is kind of a bummer eh, 90 degrees look at that night 90 degrees he does have the bicep swivel the arms go up, oop, this comes off, but the, the arms do go up. Pop that right back on. And his head gets a decent range of motion. Uh, but the coolest part is some of the stuff that this guy comes with. So he has three blasters. He has got, if you play Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront, you actually get some really detailed, nice, uh, heavy weapons with a little bit of dry brushing. Look at that. You get three blasters, you get two pairs of hands, and then one extra hand. So you get the open hands on the figure, you get two gripping hands, and then you have one trigger finger hand. One of the coolest accessories, personally, for me is, and I got two of these stormtroopers, the mouse droid. Mouse droid, gonk droid are my favorite droids. So I am really happy to have a detailed mouse droid 
it's art it's like not articulated but it's got shading on it it's really nice I don't even think the camera is doing it justice I would say this alone is worth it man I've seen people 3d print these and they're around 20 bucks so you're already like winning Whoa. this is probably the coolest thing with this figure is there's an energy effect and it plugs into all of the blasters and it pl plugs in perfectly. This is awesome. So I have to give a shout out where shout outs are due. Blaster effects, it's nice and strong and straight. I didn't try the blaster in his pouch yet. Let me see. No, yeah, it doesn't look like it goes in there. Let's do some comparisons and see, is it worth it to start a new toy line? There he is next to the Star Wars Black Series. I think this is the brand new uh, trooper. So I think he's from Rogue One, or there's some hair on him. There, He's from Rogue One or something. The Remnant Trooper, uh, what is that, from Rogue One? Or from the Man, I think he's from the Mandalorian. This is the Bandai model kit. So this is my, like one, this is probably my personal favorite one, the Bandai model kit right there. And as you can see, they're, they're almost, they're all looking different heights right there, but it's not too bad. It, definitely a new toy line, it's a new scale. If you collect NECA figures, this is for you. If you collect McFarlane, this is for you. So it could fit in like a movie shelf, say you're not gonna go deep with the, uh, you know, cause obviously Black Series has the, the characters, but I do think this is very promising. It does feel like a more adult toy line. I mean, the sculpt is a lot sharper than Black Series and even the model kits and figure arts. It's definitely like, I don't know, I can't explain it. It's, they're nice though. In person, they look really nice. It looks just like, it looks like there's a person in that suit. And last but not least, you see what I'm saying? Look at the difference here. This just kind of looks like a monkey compared to Chewbacca. So the, the face, let's look at the faces. I was telling you guys, look how detailed that is. His nose, his lips, the eyes, the hair is different colors. I have to say, this line, I'm in. I am in on this line, so I'm going to start collecting these and uh, look for more reviews. I am digging this line. Obviously, it's going to be a lot more limited, but I feel like on your shelf, these look nicer than this. Like, this looks cheap, and there, it's, not even a it's not even that much more money. Now, I would say there, there's not even a big difference in between them. This figure is so much nicer. Look at that. Which one would you choose? Which one do you think is better quality? The paint job, the heft, this looks like there's an actor in here. Yeah, look at that. That looks good to me. Last but not least, we got Goose Faba. This is my character. <laughs> a little size comparison. He's 112th scale, so six inch. But he even looks good with uh, it, with the Star Wars gang. There you go. So, so shout out to Diamond Select Toys. Let me know down below. Are you going to be checking these out? Think these are contender? They're, you know, they're not as articulated, but the sculpt is there. Like this... This looks like a cheap kid's toy, plastic kid's toy. This feels like a little bit more of a, a collector, adult collector toy. Oh yeah, we got a mouse droid too. You cannot, that's freaking awesome. This is Rock With The Great. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, at Rock With The Great. You can find me on TikTok. I'm almost at 10K on TikTok. You definitely want to check me up over there. And uh, stay great, guys. I'm out of here. Bye. Let me break in here and say shout out to all my channel members. You guys are amazing. You guys help support the channel so that we could keep pumping these videos out for everybody to enjoy. So not only do you get a lot of exclusive content, you get monthly gifts that I send out to you for free. So down below is the link. Join up to become a channel member today. It's basically like a Patreon, but it's on YouTube. So you support me monthly and yeah, you're basically a saint. All right, let's get back to the video. Want to send something into the channel? I have a P.O. box. Everything gets opened up in their own video on the channel. Hey guys, it's Rock of the Great here. I just wanted to let everyone know we got a brand new merch design up on the channel. I'm incredibly excited about this one. I love the design. The link to buy this and all my other designs in the description down below. Let's get back to the video.